Hey guys, it's Audrey here. Today I'm opening my new doll. <laughs> Two actually. Hey guys, it's Audrey here from Doll X Boudoir. Today I'm opening my two new dolls. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. So that was my boyfriend, everybody. Say hi. Hi. I'm gonna put this in the video, you know that. <laughs> oh, bless him, he's so awkward. Why are you bullying me? Hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Audrey and this is my double door. Welcome twice. Huh? Huh? That's why you said welcome twice. Oh. <laughs> okay. And my boyfriend said it best, so today I got two new dolls. I got Rosie Redwood and Barry Skies. Interesting names. We're gonna be unboxing them. I found them at Smith's and I'm sure they're not supposed to be out yet, but here we are. Oh, I haven't had an intro in like the past three videos, but it's okay because I'm back now. Let's get to reviewing these. Okay, so first up, Sperry. As you can see, the box looks a little bit different. Uh, the front window is covered in like a foil pattern that resembles a motherboard, and the doll is now for ages four plus, and I believe it used to be six plus. This looks to be a lot more colorful, and it resembles Rainbow High packaging a lot more, which I think is going to be the case from now on because I feel like they've diversified the brand so much that Shadow High wasn't synonymous with rainbow hot this is the back and i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like this is a downgrade from all the six characters being on the back of the box however this is way better than the two giant heads on the shadow high series 2 box because you know at least we get a better look at what they're wearing instead of just their faces i like to see the entire artwork and it says the students of Shadow High always let their true color shine. No, the students at Shadow High always let their true color shine. And this is just another example of MG trying to bring Shadow High just a little bit closer to Rainbow High. Um, they're much more colorful, much more... It, it, it just looks happier. It doesn't look as grunge. It just looks cute, which was not the case with Shadow High. Um, but this is the barcode and you can see that her focus is computer animation and nothing on this side except for a warning and that is it for the box let's get to unboxing her Okay, so here's everything the doll comes with. Her glasses, her laptop, her phone, and her tablet. Um, the stand and three pieces and a comb. And here is the doll and the only out outfit that she comes with. We're gonna look at everything she comes with. Um, here are the glasses and the glasses are very futuristic. They say shatter right in the middle. They're really cool. Let's put them on. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, here's her laptop and her laptop looks to be a little flimsy. Um, you know, it holds up, you know, but like, she's coding something. I'm not much of a coder, but like, y'all can read that. Here's the tablet and it doesn't come with a case and you can't even put it in a case because it has a holder on the side. And this picture of um, Lavender and Pinkly, I believe, is so cute. Like, oh my God. And this cat right here, I love it. People hate it, I love it, and they're in Tanzania. October 12th, bruh, October 12th of what year? Last year? And then the phone, and she's loading the Rainbow High website, and the bummer is the phones don't come with cases anymore. This is her phone, and it doesn't have a case. This is, she can't hold it. The thing we praised Rainbow High for, um, yeah, a thing of the past. I mean, okay, like, let me be clear, still, like, great. I love that she comes with all that, but like, what's, what's this to me? Like, she can't hold it. She doesn't have a personalized case. Dumb. A regular Shadow High stand. It pulls more blue on camera, but I can assure you, it's like, it's green. 
and a shadow high cone. And now the star of the hour, Miss Barry. Yeah. Honestly, it should have been something different. Like, why is she named after a fruit or a family of fruits when she's all about computers? Like, Puppy Wings, call her Techna, call her Mecha, call her Mecha. <laughs> Don't call her Mecha. But anyway, this is the doll. The hair is gel. Um, it's not like, it won't crunch, but like, the gel is there, okay? You're gonna have to wash it and redefine the curls, which is dumb, because like, Lola didn't come with any. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer, yeah. And let's look at her makeup. Oh baby, the way she pulls blue on camera, her makeup is very interesting. It's half graphic, half smoky eye. It looks like she used eyeliner to fill this part in, and this is just smoked eye gray to black. Um, it intensifies towards the inner corner, and the wing is way smaller than on the previous releases. Like. I'm sure y'all know that Rainbow High has always been heavy on the eyeliner, but this is like thin and, and very subtle. What is her color scheme? Because it's not like aqua? No. Her eyebrows are the same like greeny blue color mint. I don't know if it's mint, but it, it, it's, it's an ombre from the mint color all the way to like a medium gray and she has painted on edges and they're painted to match the um blend of her hair why am i so slow anyway and her lips are that very pearlescent very see-through very glossy very fresh very pale pink um i guess they complement her eyes what is up with these lines like, why they have to be there? They bother me. I don't like them. Um, but the doll is actually really pretty, and I believe she has Coco's mold. 2023. What's her own edges? I believe. Is this a? Has this pattern been seen on any uh, on any previous dolls? I don't think so. Moving on. Her earrings. I have no idea what they're meant to resemble. Oh no! Actually, I do know what that is. So. Her earrings are supposed to be like quick links, you know, those like open link um, things that you just screw on and tighten, tighten. So whatever. Yeah, that's where her earrings are supposed to be. Um, moving down, she's wearing a plain t-shirt um, in black and her top over it is meant to resemble a motherboard. So, you know, she's like all about computers. This is pretty amazing. Y'all look at this. This looks legit. It's giving art pop. And the straps are exactly what I thought her belt is going to be made out of. <laughs> it's like that um, elastic that also looks like a cord. So yeah. Also, things are already falling off her top. T-shirt's plain. Belt comes off. And <laughs> y'all, can we talk about the fact that Rainbow High and Shadow High cannot, for the love of God, decide what the closure on their belts is gonna be like this belt um it's nice don't get me wrong i like this belt i love the idea i wish it was made out of the same thing as um her the straps on her top like this is what i wish it was because it's it's not giving in my opinion like i love the idea but this is not giving like, oh about her skirt these you cannot remove them the skirt first of all is in a very dark green denim belt loops of course and the cds you cannot take them out they're like ironed on printed on something molded on you can put things in here don't get me wrong you can write on these you cannot remove them which is a bummer but i guess it had to be this way so that's that the skirt has pockets let's take this off the skirt has pockets and they're fully functional but yeah i like it more than i thought i would because i thought it was going to be way bulkier than this and i swear if you were able to remove cds it would have been bulkier but it's not so i don't hate it i actually quite like it 
And now onto her shoes. These are something else. Very futuristic, very editorial, very high fashion. Um, I love these shoes. They're meant to be like, I swear, because I took I took a speaker apart when I was younger and this is what is in the middle of, of your speakers. Like, <laughs> this is it. This, it looks exactly, or, or it's one of those like shavers, you know, they you shave your face with or your legs with or whatever. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And they have all like a bunch of quartz and it says Eclipse right here and Shadow SH right here and Shadow High in the back. So these shoes are the most Shadow High thing ever. They're great. They're in like dark green, light green and silver. I love them. She also comes, and I forgot to mention it, with this bracelet and it has those like keyboard keys on it. And it says, uh, what does it say actually? Shadow High 3. That is so cute. SH3, Shadow High 3. And she obviously, oh my God, stuck. Her arm is stuck. Oh, there you go. And she obviously has long nails. That is it for Miss Berry. And let's move on to Miss Rosie. So her box is personalized as well. She has these, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is Cherry Blossom. So that would make her Japanese, period. So she has this Cherry Blossom pattern all over the front portion of the box. This is her name tag. Once again, H4+. Plus. Um, this is her barcode and she is a cosmetology focus. This is the back of the box and yeah, it's literally the same as Barry's and I'm waiting to get her because I never noticed, but she has these beautiful barbed wire earrings. I have a choker that's exactly the same. Let's get to unboxing her. Okay, so here's everything this doll comes with. Here is her makeup palette, her powder. She's pink on the face, so I assume powder. Her eyeshadow, again. What kind of palette is this? Yo, this is an actual mirror. A broken mirror, but like a mirror nonetheless. And her drink, and her drink says, strikingly shadow and it looks a little bit like the logo for stranger things let's look at everything she comes with so this palette is made out of red plastic and it has a glue in a mirror as you can see by these like little i don't know if you can see them but there's like four dots of glue this mirror you can't really see yourself i think it's a little bit worse than it used to be um because like look oh oh it looks more like a laptop the powder a big ass handle because yeah i guess she comes with no brushes so she uses her fingers um i love this compact though it looks so luxurious like wow i'm gonna wear it as a keychain i have no keys this and we've seen this with the divas this is the versace logo it's with it's made out of the same red see-through like transparent plastic the mirror I'm, I'm not gonna be able to open this right now Y'all, I'm sorry. Like, yeah. <laughs> her drink is a straw. <gasps> you can take the straw out. That is crazy. Wow. Miss, I'm going to kill turtles with my plastic straw. Um, but yeah. And a big ass handle as well. Like, I swear this is way bigger than it used to be. Because like, on a different drink that came with the um, set for Pacific Coast High, it didn't have this much room. But like, slight. Um, and a regular rainbow shadow high stand and considering she's supposed to be a red doll why is this pink and a comb a regular shadow high comb back to the doll the let's bring you closer so we can look at her makeup so her makeup is really i don't want to say lackluster but like i don't find it to be super creative because she's wearing a 
an off red pastel red eyeshadow all over from like the inner corner of her eyelid until like two-thirds of her bottom eyelid and then there's just a shimmer all over it the eyeliner is also not very thick quite subtle but she has an extended inner corner and she's wearing some like glitter on the inner corner and i'm gonna scrape scrape off because it just looks disgusting and tacky she's wearing this kind of scarlet red lipstick with like a lighter color on her bottom lip um that's meant to look like a gradient which i don't personally like um, her eyebrows don't look as short as in her promotional photos and they're a little bit misprinted, but I don't care um, They're in red obviously, but it's more like a cherry red and You'll know what I really dislike these eyebrows Cheryl had them Emmy had them I hate them. These are the worst eyebrows ever she comes with earrings and these earrings are I'm actually not sure what they're supposed to be. Yeah, she has brown eyes moving down the a fur coat is not connected to her, to her dress in any way. Thank God we've had enough of MGA connecting this to things like this with little tags and then creating little holes that you can't get rid of in fabric like this. So thank you MGA for listening. Now, this is the fur coat in question and oh my God, like isn't this amazing? The lining is cherries. This is so funny. It's, it's, it's satin. And it has a tag. There's a shadow high. It's lined even on the inside of the sleeves. It feels so nice to the touch. And it looks so disgustingly beautiful. Every single one of y'all who said, oh my god, another fur coat. Like, I want to punch y'all in the face. This is so soft. You would pay so much money for this, yet you get a doll, a dress, fabric shoes in vinyl detailed earrings this long nails which we'll get to but oh my god oh my god this is quality y'all are insane for slendering for talking shit about this brand they're going strong i hope they continue this is amazing i love it the dress is quite simple but it has like i don't even know what this is uh it's lined i don't know but you know it has this i quite like the dress to be honest this is a nice dress and it's tight this is gonna be a staple y'all look at this she's cinched and the shoes and the shoes are oh my god do y'all see this vinyl leather buckles big buckles zippers uh strings these are like one of the best shoes i have ever seen on a doll one thing her nails are gold where her shoes are silver baby we don't mix i mean i know i have mixed metals before but like we don't mix so she also has long nails red with gold tips pretty gorgeous but i would i'm gonna repaint them to be silver because let me put both of these dolls in their outfits and let's move on to our final thoughts okay final thoughts my final thoughts are these two are great I love the shoes I love the outfits I I'm not in love with the t-shirt but like everything else it's like the earrings meh, but this bar coat oh my god oh my god amazing I am blown away by these shoes these shoes are single-handedly why this doll is quality this top oh my you don't understand cannot comprehend the level of detail these two items have like i know y'all want this plus this plus this on every single doll but let's face it that's unrealistic it's never been the case like y'all chill but like the only thing i can actually complain about is the fact that she doesn't have a phone case because she cannot hold this phone i can just about like put it in her um hand and she's gonna hold it but like you know the hair being crusty yeah we know that already but quality um so for everyone watching rainbow high and shadow high are not in decline they are not ending they're not flopping these these designs are not lacking you have just gotten spoiled by the brand and now you're acting out for everyone watching i repeat y'all are acting out y'all have been spoiled you're ungrateful 
Y'all are ungrateful and that's all I have to say. These dolls are worth their price. I love them. They're so fun. They're so beautiful. The makeup is great. I hate this crusty ass glitter, but that's just me. Overall, the dolls are beautiful. This dress is such like y'all have been complaining about, you know, um, clothing pieces not being simple enough that the t-shirts have writing all over them, that the dresses have writing all over them, that it's okay to get plain things. Well, guess what? This is a plain red dress. Y'all can put it on any doll you want and it doesn't have that rainbow high shadow high logo. Not a single one. This t-shirt, same. This skirt, nothing. This top, nothing. This, only a tag. So, this concludes today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, in short, I love these two. I'm looking forward to getting my favorite lavender and um, Miss whatever her name is because she's beautiful. She's gorgeous, actually. Yo, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.